Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want to thank the Chairman of the Committee that's allowing these amendments to go forward. This is a great bill, and in particular, I'm happy to say that we have a good amendment in here that will finally get a hold of the subject of cost overruns. I worked in defense procurement for 20 years. Uh, I worked fighting war profiteers in Iraq for five years before I came here. And one of the dirty, dark secrets of defense contracting is the fact that contractors buy in. That's a term that's used by contractors to explain the situation where they compete for a time and materials contract or they compete for a cost reimbursement contract. They propose a certain cost or price knowing full well that they cannot meet that cost or price. They get the contract and they overcharge the government. That's a cost overrun. It happens every day of the week and we need to get a fix on it so that we can end it. The first amendment that I've offered on this bill, which is the subject of my current statement, is an amendment to have the GAO identify cost overruns on a systematic basis and report to Congress in 90 days. I'm hopeful that that will give us a good fix on this, the scope of this problem and explain to us what we can possibly do to end this terrible tragedy, which ends up cheating the taxpayer and cheating the troops. Thank you very much. The time has expired. Gentleman from California.